Hey everyone, it's day three of our plank challenge and you know, I'm thinking about um, kind of what my message is for today and what came up was don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. So what that means is uh, I think a lot of people have a tendency and I'm sure I've done it as well to say, Oh, well, I can't do it right, so I can't do it at all. And I see a lot of this um, in some of the fitness groups I'm in. There's uh, this one called Shrink Sessions, which are these dance workouts. And people often post, oh, this is so hard, I can't do the footsteps. And so it's their first time going through, and they think they should be able to do it perfectly. And, you know, it's a pretty good workout, and the f steps are kind of confusing, and you can kind of trip over yourself. So I come back and say, well, do what you can, take a break and start again. And every time you do it, it gets easier. And um, I'm always surprised on how many people have never thought of this. They, and I think we get caught up in this a lot. Like if we can't do something perfectly, we don't even want to try. And we forget that there's actually a learning element. The other part of that is I think we can use it as an excuse to avoid. And I've done this a lot with exercise in the past where um, I'll be, I'll say something along the lines of, well, I don't want to exercise today, I have a headache, or I'm tired, or I just don't feel good. Um, other areas I see it are, oh, I don't have the right equipment, I can't do, I can't start walking because I don't have good walking shoes. And I know, you know, I, I feel like that's just an avoidance tactic. You have shoes, you don't need, you know, $300 running shoes to go for a walk around the block. And... Um, or you know I don't have the right clothes or so just think about what you don't have to do a lot you only have to do a little and take take what you have and, and use it and don't avoid and and as you start making these habits and changes in your day it'll keep <laughs> it'll just kind of snowball and you'll be able to, you know, you'll feel better and you'll make more changes. So that's all I have to say about that. So today we have 30 seconds. I'm going to move the camera down here to the floor so I can get onto the arm balance. I'm liking the arm balances, at least at these low, um, low times because my shoulders are really weak. I think once we get up to the higher times, I might have to get up on my arms. So again, proper form, you know. Lift through your shoulders, tuck your hips, engage your quads, and that's really what's gonna hold you up. Um, press into your forearms, you know, take personal responsibility for your own body. You know what it can do. You know when you're pushing yourself in a good way and you're gonna know if something's not feeling right. I can't be the one to tell that to you for you. You have to be mindful of yourself. So just keep that in mind. And as always, with everything, remember to breathe. So here we go. Oops, let me change the calendar to a 30 seconds. There we go. Or the timer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Start. I like this because you can really tell, you know, where you're building strengths. I can feel my quads engaged. I can feel, you know, the fact that I need to engage all my abs, my low abs, my upper abs, and a little, a little even on the oblique side. All right. And there we go. I have to figure out the alarms for this thing. All right, so that was that, 30 seconds. You know, I, you know, uh, my feeling is I'm gonna try to do more of these during the day. I really wanna build up my strength fast. I think it's important to do these short times if you've never done it before, um, because you just don't, you don't wanna force your body into something that you haven't felt and you do need to build up strength. So if you're new to any kind of strength building, make sure you, take the time and build up. You could do the 30 seconds several times during the day. Um, it just doesn't have to be once. So, but again, you know 
you know what's best for your body. So, got a late start today, so I need to get myself together and get ready. I just wanted to remember or remind you to check in that you did the challenge below the video. Uh, if there's any, you know, anyone that you think might have fun with this, just let them know about it and see if they're, you know, tell them about the group and that we're doing this. Um, back on the theme of don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. You know, if you miss a day, it doesn't mean that you can't continue the challenge. If you miss a day, just pick up and start. You can either start again from the beginning, you can um, pick up where we are as the group, you can you know, just pick up from the day you missed and follow along at your own pace. Just don't use the fact that you might have missed a day be the thing that stops you. Because um, what's just, to develop a new habit, it's gonna be, there's gonna be fits and starts. So always remember just to start again. So and just, um, I also wanted to uh, offer up my seven day reclaim your energy challenge. It's very much goes along with this and it's about how you can fit a easy healthy habit into your day and that day by day making healthier choices, you're gonna feel better. I mean, if right now you struggle with the three o'clock slump or getting through the day or your brain's not working, you know, little changes can make a dramatic difference. So I'll post a link to that below and like the video when you do your challenge or comment in below and that would be great. So I will see you tomorrow for day four. All right, have a good Friday. Bye.